my god. Oh my god. 170. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> that is just freaking mental to me because like a few days ago, I honestly didn't think, um, before the last video that you saw, I honestly didn't think that I was going to make it. You know, I've got this 165 pound goal and I just, my weight just was not shifting. Um, I was doing everything I should be, I was eating good, I was doing my cardio, training was on point as well. Um, and thing, it just wasn't happening, you know? And so, I felt like, I'm almost a bit embarrassed, obviously because I put myself out there on the internet, I was like, shit, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do this. But, stick to it, trust what you're going to do, and you will, you, you will see results. Um, that was £170 dead. And obviously that's pretty much 20 pounds down from the starting point of this kind of dieting phase. Um, which is very, very good. We still have another few pounds to go. We want to get down to 165. So, challenge accepted. Let's do this. So here is the OOTD. This is kind of like an oversized tee from... Where's it from? Boohoo. Uh, just some like old ripped kind of shorts because it's freaking boiling, but you know, going to a kid's sports day today, so I can't exactly be rocking my usual vest and shorts, you know? Going to that sports day, so I'm not going to record anything because that would be freaking weird. So, when am I gonna see you guys next? Oh my God, I might miss you. You won't miss me, because you'll see me in like, two seconds flat. Whoa, that wasn't even two seconds flat. The magical powers of editing people. The magical powers. Crazy, I know, right? <laughs> Sports day was good. I mean, I burnt my nose though. Like, you know, it is what it is, but hey, it is what it is. Pre-workout for the day is some CGV2. Um, I still have like, maybe, just under half a tub left of this, so this is what I mean by kind of alternating my, my pre-workouts. Like, obviously I have Wobs, Total War up there, like two or three different Ghost products. This as well. Mm. Well, that didn't go as well as expected, did it? Um, anyway, uh, what I was going to say is it's nice to actually have kind of a choice of pre-workouts and before Body Power, it's kind of what I wanted. And uh, obviously we picked up some at Body Power, some I've already had in the past. And to be honest, I would love to add to it even more, but I'm not actually in a position to right now. So soon, and then I've got a cool like little pre-workout game that I wanna play, so. Stay tuned for, for that, that'll have a dedicated video. But you see what I mean by it being nice to have like a choice, wobs, old lean stuff, ghost and total war and pump products and stuff up there. And yeah, it's just nice to have an option and think, hmm. So obviously each pre-workout has kind of like a different effect. And so you're like, okay, I'm feeling like this. So I need this. Okay, I, f I feel a little bit flat. So maybe I'll go for like a pump product. And I don't know, you know, just play around with it. I'm just really I just really like pre-workout
I do in fact sometimes train topless. Relax. It's my garage. It's 25 degrees in the UK today. It's a sweat box. We got the door open. Alright, no top on. I got a burnt nose and I'm sweating. Leave it out, yeah? <sighs> What's that you say, Liam? Sick haircut. I know, bro. I fucking know. Look at that. Oh my, have you ever seen anything like that? <laughs> Tip of the day, just in case you guys didn't know, is um, don't go and get accidentally sunburned and then get a haircut. Okay, so inside that box is something that is very special. Um, well, it's not very special, but like it's something that's pretty cool. It's going to be going up over the next kind of few days. Um, and yeah, you guys are going to love that. And I'm very, 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 very excited to film it. So um, I'm getting ready to have kind of like a half hour session. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of... Um, a bit of back, a bit of a pull day, but kind of take it nice and light, nice and steady, um, and just take my time with the session, really. Um, I went out over the weekend. Um, my friend Joe, who will not be watching this because he'll be busy living the high life, but um, he kind of had like a little leaving thing, me, Cam, the cameraman, and him were like a group of three when we were really little, so we kind of went out and, um, yeah. That was that. <laughs> Still, in all honesty, feeling a little bit fragile. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to take my time. Uh, Joe, if you are watching this, my friend, I know you're not, but some one of your kind of group, family type people might be watching it. Um, good luck, mate. He's actually moving to Spain for six months to go and train for this new cool job. Very exciting, very cool. Also very sad and emotional because I'm not going to see him for like six months. But anyway, good luck, Joe. Much love. You're going to smash it just like I am about to smash this session. I'm really up for it, can you tell? Oh God. I swear YouTube is like the bad luck curse for me. Opening monsters, I always just mess it up. Anyway, monster for pre slash kind of intra workout today. I'm uh, literally just going to kind of sip on it as I go along, um, maybe start training in like 5 or 10 minutes. Something like that, get a bit of a kick, you know? Also, going to be doing a bit of cardio today. As you guys know, I am currently training 5 days per week. So the way that's kind of been structured recently, I say recently more like the last kind of 2 weeks and that's around about it, but I've trained kind of Monday through Friday and then just had the weekend off. Um, that is not necessarily how you have to do it. If you have a plan then just fit that in however the hell you want. If you train 3 days a week and you want to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, then do that. If you want to do Monday, Friday, Sunday, then you know, do that. Whatever you can do to fit around your schedule literally just do that as of the last couple of weeks um my schedule has kind of worked out obviously i had that night out with 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 joe and, and cam um i've also seen charlotte at the weekends and stuff like that so I've, I've busted my nut kind of monday through friday and then taking the weekend off it's monday again now and um already start a new week we're starting off with the back day today because i kind of just felt like it i was like yeah well you know i'll, I'll go for I'll go pull push legs and then you know from there. That's the kind of thing that I like to do. If I have like a push pull legs routine or an upper lower routine, which is kind of a combination of what I do right now, I like to mix up the days. Sometimes I start with the upper day, sometimes I start with the push day. What, you know, mix it up, make it interesting. Training doesn't, that way will not get boring and you'll stick to it and you know, you're not gonna see the results if you're not in the gym in the first place. And if you're not in, you, and you're not, hang on, let me take a sip of the, the magic juice and let me try again. You're not going to make gains if you're not in the gym. And you're not going to go to the gym if you don't enjoy the gym. So make it enjoyable, mix it up, and then you make the gains. Magic stuff, this. Yeah, come on. Yeah. 
this is Adele on BBC Radio 1 and it's workout mix time. So whether you're in the gym, listening at work or just need some motivational vibes, here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, long gone. Da, 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 da. Something that everybody should kind of be able to do is something that I kind of do voluntarily, obviously, because I train in here the majority of the time, right? But if you are in a public gym, you're not going to be able to get a bench every single time you want a bench, you're not going to be able to get the piece of equipment you want every single time. So you need to be able to kind of chop and change things, not only dependent upon how you're feeling, but dependent on what's available. I mean, luckily, the kind of availability thing isn't really an issue here, but depending on how I feel and you know, everything else. I change my routine accordingly. I still stick to the plan and hit the exact same days in a similar order with the same exercises. I should have thought about what I was saying before I was saying it. But it's not to the point where it's like, right, okay, Monday. Monday is push day. I have to bench press and then I have to do this and this and this. Uh, you know, it's, gonna, it's Tuesday tomorrow, so I'll just bench on Tuesday. I felt like doing some pull-ups today, so I'm gonna do that today. You see what I'm saying? Don't stress about it, just train. On a side note, did anybody see that delivery guy blatantly clocked me recording him like through the window? He was just like... <laughs> Sorry mate. <laughs> essentially what would happen Monday through Sunday right every kind of seven day week I would train Monday Tuesday Wednesday have Thursday off Friday Saturday Sunday off and then train Monday again right and repeat however most of you guys will know um, regardless of whether it's because of work because of social life because of family because of or anything life just life in general that's not always how it works out and so, essentially what my plan consists of right now is five days in total, okay? Three of those are hypertrophy focused days. Two of those are strength focused days, okay? So essentially what that means is I will be training within the hypertrophy rep ranges for three days of the week and kind of a little bit more towards the strength side for two days of the week, okay? So push, pull, legs upper, lower. The strength days are on the upper and the lower and the push pull leg are the more hypertrophy kind of based things. I've been trialing it, I've been testing it and it's working. It's working good. I've been training for three years now, I know my body well enough, I've been playing sport my entire life, I know when I need to recover, I know when I need to take it easy, I know when I can push it and I know kind of what exercises for the most part anyway work for me and I know also what equipment is available to me. And so I'm able to kind of craft and tailor that towards myself. And that is important for every single person. If you just Google something, you know, it might be good. It might work really well for you. You might just kind of strike gold and find the perfect custom plan that's not actually custom, you know? It just works really well for you. But what everybody needs, everybody watching this, is a custom plan that works for themselves. Something that they enjoy, something that they don't necessarily enjoy, but they need to do to improve their physique, to improve their health, to improve their fitness, whatever. You're not gonna enjoy every single second of it. But there are things that you just have to do in order to see improvements, in order to keep moving forwards and keep achieving your goals. You can't do every single thing that you love every single day. You know, I love shoulder press, but if I shoulder pressed every day, I'd end up with a shoulder injury, believe it or not, because of the overdevelopment of the front delts. You know, I've always, always emphasized rear delt training, right? So even on today, I will train rear delts 
two to three times a week, right? Sometimes I'll throw it in extra just because. My front delts are well developed in comparison to the rest of my physique. And if especially kind of the front of my physique is a lot better than the back. And so I need to work on the back to kind of even it up and ensure that I don't get those shoulder injuries. How many people do you hear saying they're benching, they're shoulder pressing, they're doing all of this, but they're not doing anything to actually counteract that. So they're benching, right? twice a week, you know, because they need to improve, they need to improve their bench, they need to hit two plate bench, three plate bench, they need to get massive on the bench press and the shoulder press, right? So what you'll find is someone's posture goes from a good posture like so, to kind of rounding forwards like this because they're not working the back muscles to kind of bring yourself back up into that good postural position, right? So I'm really bad for it myself. I don't know whether it's because of how my shoulders are or just, well, most people have bad posture unless you really kind of consciously work on it. So if I'm not thinking about it, I can kind of just be stood there like this. But then sometimes I almost say to myself to kind of, no, Liam, like you're slouching, come on, like stand up. So I kind of go up, up with my shoulders, back with them, and then down. And then all of a sudden, you're in a much better, much stronger, much healthier position, you know? So just be mindful of that. If you are keen on benching and pressing, which most people are, just be working on the back, work on the rear delts in particular really essential for that shoulder health, you know? You're not gonna be making any gains if you injure your shoulder and you're out of the gym, so take care. The five days of the plan, whether it's the push, pull, legs kind of portion of it, or the strength portion of it, um, it doesn't always go kind of, you know, Monday to Friday. It doesn't always go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, rest or whatever. Life gets in the way. And so what I personally do is depending on how I'm feeling, what I've got planned for the rest of the week. If I know I'm gonna be seeing Charlotte at a certain period of time, if I'm gonna be going over to Birmingham and seeing Jake and training with him, if I know I'm gonna be seeing Cam the cameraman or, you know, whatever, Sometimes I'll be training with the old man, so I'll save my session till the end of the night, or something like that. I can kind of know my week, know when I'm gonna be doing whatever, whatever I'm gonna be doing, and plan it around that. So I'll say sometimes, it's Monday today, right? Sometimes I'll start with the lower body, so the upper and the lower kind of portion. I'll start the week with that, because then later on, I can do the push session with Jake in Birmingham, or something like that, you know? I will tailor my sessions towards my week. And you can do that if you plan in advance, if you are organized, and if you are good with your time management, if you like. It's something that I've kind of improved a lot over the past three years. The gym has definitely helped me with that, not only in, in fitness, but in just overall life. You know, uni, you have to manage your time. In life, you have to manage your time. Not perfect, don't get me wrong, far from it. However, it is a lot better than it used to be. And so you can kind of play around with it, to and fro with your routine. Um, and it's something that I would encourage you guys to do as well, because it can really, really help with your balance, you know, life balance and all that kind of stuff. If you want to lead a healthy, happy, balanced life, you have to sometimes juggle things around. And that means having a set routine isn't necessarily for everybody, but if you have a structure that you can kind of twist, then it might work, you know? Try it out, okay? So, thank you guys so much for watching today. Uh, whatever is in that package, uh, you might have actually seen it before this video goes live, either on Instagram or on here. But anyway, we'll have a dedicated video. I'm very excited to film it, very excited to uh, upload it as well. I know you guys are gonna enjoy it, and I, it's, it's gonna be a tasty one, okay? It's gonna be a tasty one. So, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please drop a massive like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Welcome to the family. Together, we will grow. Thank you so much for your support lately. Do not forget, it is not too late to donate to the Prostate Cancer UK link. It will be in the comments section and all that kind of stuff. So have a search around for it. It will be there. The link is still there. It's not too late to donate. So any support on that will be appreciated. Much love, guys. Together, we will grow. And I will see you in the next one. Boom.